For the three days you have interacted, we all have made our comments. We have not exhausted everything. There is a lot to it. And let this event or these three days not just be the end of it. I used to like reading Macbeth and there was a story of Shakespeare and uh, one of the times he would say, uh, not Shakespeare himself but as the author, he would, there was this uh, uh, guy who would say, out, out, life is but a brief candle. It's a tale told by an idiot signifying nothing. So the message I'm trying to put to you is that let this engagement with the diaspora not be a tale told by a need to signifying nothing. Let it be actually the consolidation of a partnership that will completely revolutionize the economy of our country. That is what I want to seek from you tonight and to encourage you, to encourage the team and to assure you that the government of President William Ruto is committed to ensuring that our dreams are collectively realized. No one should be left behind. No corner of this country should be left behind. The institutions in our country, our devolved units, all must work. We shall have the normal challenges. People will go to court on issues. That's in order. They make us become better. We want to be a country that respects the rule of law. We have become a country that is very interesting. We had a visitor from South Africa, not too long ago, somewhere in Lukenia. Can you imagine he had a platform to actually criticize the president of this country? He came in visa free, he left, <laughs> and he made his remarks, and he was not arrested. That is the Kenya we have built together. That is the society we have built together and we can achieve even more.